Hi, my name is Alex Shan. One trend that I believe will shape the future of the built environment is increased automation and increased productivity. As a result, the amount of time that we spend working will be reduced due to a combination of task automation for desk stage jobs and robots replacing physical labor. With more time in our hands, there will be a greater need to socialize and connect with people. This will give rise to the need for more community and lifestyle buildings. Some of the key characteristics of these buildings will be their focus on inclusivity, experience and adaptability. These spaces will be designed with well-being in mind. A place where diverse groups of people can go to socialize, where parents can leave their children while they run errands, or even a place to meet new people, share ideas and collaborate on projects together. These buildings will be the hubs of many communities and will therefore need to be very adaptable to the needs of their occupants. As we have experienced over the past few years, spaces need to be constantly redesigned to fit new purposes and address new challenges. Over the next couple of decades, this rate of change will keep up if not further accelerate, creating an even stronger need for adaptability. Now, this speech wouldn't feel quite right if we didn't talk about the technology I am expecting to see in these buildings in two decades. So let's get to it. These community and lifestyle buildings will be industry leaders and will have a key role in setting the blueprint for all future and existing buildings to follow. If there had to be a single word to describe these buildings, I would choose data-centric. Of course, these buildings will be pioneers in many different fronts, but at the core of it all will be data. The top three data-enhanced areas that I want you to remember and look forward to are occupant comfort, building operations, and future planning. Firstly, in terms of occupant comfort, Data will enable occupants to assess the spaces where they're in, not just in terms of temperature, but also in terms of overall air quality, lighting, noise levels, and even the prevalence of viruses floating around in the spaces. Secondly, the operation of these buildings will also be data-driven. Data will inform facility teams on maintenance procedures to follow in a predictive way. The continuous intelligent monitoring of systems will allow operators to pick up issues as soon as they happen and fix them and this transparency will result in increased energy efficiency. Third and last, future modifications and upgrades to the building will be carried out with data as the backbone. Allowing building owners to quickly identify risks in the building as system replacements required, even to the point of understanding the behavior of occupants within the building to make out what spaces need to be modified or upgraded. This may seem like a big jump from the capabilities of our buildings today, but the infrastructure required to do this is improving every day and we cannot let our industry fall behind. I hope I was able to give you an accurate depiction of the future building I had in mind. Thanks for listening.